Well, good morning and thank you for joining me for our time of morning prayer on Wednesday when the church remembers Mary Magdalene. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Today's psalm is Psalm 30. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up and did not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried to you for help, and you have healed me. O Lord, you brought up my soul from shale, restored me to life from among those who have gone down to the pit. Sing praises to the Lord, O you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, his favour for a lifetime. Weeping may linger for the night, but joy comes with the morning. As for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. By your favour, O Lord, you had established me as a strong mountain. You hid your face, and I was dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cried, and to you, O Lord, I made my supplication. For what profit is there in my death? If I go down to the pit, will the dust praise you? Will it tell of your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be gracious to me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing, and you have taken off my sackcloth and clothed me with joy, so that my soul may praise you and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Today's canticle is called A Song of the Word. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked abandon their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from above and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread to eat, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me fruitless, but it will accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the task I gave it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our reading this morning is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 8, beginning at verse 1. Soon afterwards he went on through the cities and villages, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. The twelve were with him, as well as some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Chusa and Susanna, and many others who provided for them out of their own resources. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand. 
Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. We say together the words of the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So let us pray. Lord, we give you thanks for this new day. Lord, we give you thanks for those who care for us and who look after us. We give you thanks, Lord, for those people whose faith have been an inspiration to us and for us. Father, we pray for the world in which we live. We pray for those, Lord, who are sick in body or mind. We pray for those who are in sorrow, those who are anxious and perplexed. We ask, Lord, that you give them courage, patience and peace of heart that you would do for them whatever is for their good, for the sake of your Son, Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for your church throughout the world, that as your followers we may respond wholeheartedly to your love, by committing ourselves to the service of your kingdom, with faith that is strengthened by a living experience of Christ's presence, and with freedom and courage to follow where he leads. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, whose Son restored Mary Magdalene to health of mind and body, and called her to be a witness to his resurrection, forgive our sins, and heal us by your grace, that we may serve you in the power of his risen life, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.